guys, it is Tuesday. I'm not gonna talk very long because I have like no voice today. I don't, I don't know how I keep getting sick. This is so annoying. Steven is home again today because he can't stop coughing. Uh, it's like we all got a different form of this cold, whatever, whatever it is this time. Um, I don't like feel crappy. Like there's no fever or anything. I don't feel gross. It's just all in my sinuses again and it's like gathering in my throat and making it hard for me to talk. And Aiden was supposed to have an extra day of therapy today but his therapist just told me she's sick <laughs> so we get a, a free day from that but um, I'm actually editing. I just edited the video where I did Andrew's makeup blindfolded so that one should be going up tomorrow. You'll probably see these see them both before I get this vlog up. Um, I was dying laughing editing this and then I will do this one will go up tomorrow and then I'll probably edit the other one where he does mine tomorrow and put that up Thursday or Friday so uh, I'll have videos for the rest of the week. But I just wanted to check in. I don't like talking like this because I know it's annoying to listen to. Um, I don't like when people do it when I watch people that are sick. Um, so, uh, I, I also wanted to mention, I'm going to do a video about my thoughts on uh, Kat Von D not having anything to do with her brand anymore. I, don't, I can't call it her brand anymore because it's not going to be. They already changed the name of it. I was going to just talk about it in a vlog. But I was like, I'm going to ramble for way too long, so I'll just make a separate video. I wanted to film that today, but I'm not going to film it with my voice sounding like this. So I will do that as soon as like this is better and cleared up, uh, which is hopefully hopefully tomorrow I'll have my voice back at least. Um, but yeah, t today has been the worst of it, like sinus-wise, because I have, I felt... The past few days, like, I was coming down with something, because my throat was kind of scratchy. It didn't hurt, but it was scratchy. And it's just, today, it's full-blown uh, in my sinuses. So, I'm just going to keep taking vitamin C and drinking tea and hoping I can get rid of this. Because, like, other than taking NyQuil at night, nothing ever helps me when I just have a cold. Like, cold medicine does not do anything for me. So, I, will, I take NyQuil at night to help me sleep but then it knocked me the hell out last night but other than that I don't really take cold medicine because it does absolutely nothing for me but I will stop talking now with my annoying sounding sick voice and I will talk to you guys tomorrow hey guys I'm about to straighten my well fix my hair here because I just woke up but I wanted to show you how much it's faded the pink anyway and then the purple that I used is lasting longer because you can see it better now it's like popping now that the pink is kind of faded out so the bedhead one definitely lasts longer color wise than the arctic fox but uh yeah i'm gonna have to touch it up and i'm waiting for the the wrath color to come in the mail because i had to order some more of it but it's just like a blah pink right now. It looks brighter on the camera than it actually is, but this is probably five or six washes, so it's not too bad, but it's only been a couple weeks since I did it. So it's gonna need constant touch-ups if I'm gonna keep it. Uh, and I need to do my like the front of my hair again because I got all little silver coming in. I wish my hair would just go all friggin gray at once and then it'd be easier <laughs> I don't like the little random random pieces sticking out but today is uh Wednesday and I woke up and I couldn't talk at all but I think it was just because I was sleeping uh because I feel almost 100% better today which is lovely that this isn't going to be an ongoing thing but i kept waking myself up coughing like just a dry tickly cough do you have to go to the bathroom it was just like a dry tickly cough that kept waking me up last night which was annoying but i think it i was probably snoring because my nose was stuffy but um that's pretty much i don't have anything going on today so hey guys it's thursday i'm waiting for my uncle to get here because he's supposed to be taking 
Eden's swing set today, which I'm going to try and hide the fact that it's missing from the backyard as long as possible from Aiden because he's going to have a fit when he sees that it's not there anymore, but it's going to my grandma's house, so I mean, it'll be there when we go visit. Um, I just uploaded yesterday the video of me doing Andrew's makeup blindfolded went up and then this morning the one of him doing mine went up and I had such a hard time editing it yesterday because I was cracking up. Oh, it was so funny. I miss him. I wish that we lived closer. It sucks that we that he doesn't live up here anymore and I cannot physically live in Florida because I just I can't handle heat and hot weather. Um, we found, <laughs> we found, a t I don't even know how I found the TV show that we were watching while he was here. It's a British show, I guess, and like, I know I have British people that watch me because I have friends in like England and stuff, and I want to know if this is on like your normal, normal TV, because it's so funny to me that this is just on normal television over there. It's called Naked Attraction, and it's a dating show where like, there's five people behind these boxes and then like a contestant and the colored boxes like uh they have doors that like slide up and then the person like there's men and women will pick the person that they want to date based on like their genitals or their boobs and stuff <laughs> and they don't blur anything so we were getting a kick out of that it was like it was addicting to watch this stupid show where people were just picking each other based on their naked bodies and then like eventually the the thing goes up and you can see the chest and then you can see their faces and stuff and then the contestant has to get naked and it's just weird like hardly any of them actually worked out after they went on a date but it's just so funny that that's on regular tv over there like that would never fly over here um and then Steve, Steven wouldn't watch it with us. He doesn't want me to watch it now because he doesn't like that I'm looking at other people's penises. And I'm like, but they're most of them are gross. This is like a ridiculous show to watch. Uh, so, but I miss him because he, we like a lot of the same TV stuff. And like Steven won't watch this kind of stuff with me. He'd rather watch friggin' documentaries about history. And I, I'm just not into that stuff. We can hardly ever agree on any anything to watch on TV. Uh, which is why he has the TV in his game room <laughs> and when we move that's gonna suck if we have to fight over what we're gonna watch on TV because we don't have a game room anymore. I'm still... I have to update you guys on so much stuff. That job isn't gonna work out for me because... Uh, well, I was super excited because they wanted to do a phone interview with me and then yesterday they emailed me and said like we're sorry we filled the position so I mean I have more confidence now that people are actually gonna contact me about the resume that I uploaded but it sucks that <clears throat> that one's not going to work out um, and then what was the other thing I was gonna talk about I just had it in the back of my head and now I can't think of what it was oh we're still like having no luck looking for places. Like that that apartment up the street uh, is still available. So like I'm, uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that once we finally have enough saved, that that's still gonna be an option. Um, Cause like it's I think it's far enough away from the the college that like a college kid isn't gonna jump on that right away. Or if they are, it won't be until, like, summertime or something. I don't know. I'm just, like, I've been looking every single night and trying to find stuff in this town. And that is the only one that has all the utilities included. The only thing that's not included is internet, and that's fine because, like, they don't usually <laughs> include cable or internet anyway in utilities. A lot of them, a lot of the apartments that I've been trying to, to look at around here... Like, the only thing they do include is, like, snow removal, which, big deal. Like, yeah, apartments usually always include that. And basic internet. So, like, what does that mean? Like, I'm gonna... I have to have the crappy internet because that's what the landlord is paying for? Or can I pay for it myself and friggin' get the internet that I have now? Because we have, like, the... What is it called? Like, the Super Blast or whatever the highest freaking internet package is on Xfinity. Um, 
that's all you can get in our town. Like, uh, Comcast has a monopoly over this area. You can't get Verizon or anything. I think you can get, like, the satellite stuff, but as far as cable goes, cable and internet, the number one thing is Xfinity, Comcast, whatever. Do they not call it Comcast anymore? Because I think it's just Xfinity now. But that's what we have for our cell phones, too. So, like, our cell phone bill and our cable bill, they're separate bills, but it's all that company. Um, but yeah, I haven't been having much luck finding a freaking apartment. And, like, it would be nice if... His dad actually talked to him to tell him more about like what's going on and what he's gonna do what his plans are because we're the ones getting screwed here and like I don't want him to come in April and be like okay house is on the market now you gotta get out like he's not telling him anything it just drives me nuts like obviously we know we have to move but I would have I would like to have a better timeline of what's going on here I wanted to be out as soon as possible but that can't happen because of our money issues and friggin the fact that he's supposed to be getting money from his grandma's will being settled and everything that was supposed to happen the end of this month but we still haven't heard anything about it it was supposed to happen right after Christmas too according to his dad and nothing ever came of it like we don't get any updates from him and I think that's what frustrates me the most about this entire situation <sighs> so anyway I gotta, once my uncle gets here, I gotta help him with that. He has, like, a winch thing in the back of his truck now, which is why he doesn't need Steven to be here to help him lift it in and out of the truck. Like, when he brought it here, he needed his help. Um, so he can do that himself. And then my brother's gonna have to help him get it off the truck when they, when he gets it back home. Um, I don't even know where they're gonna put it. My grandma has a huge backyard. Like, uh texting me now he's just leaving now he told me he was gonna be here at like nine it's ten o'clock um when my brother and I were little our swing set slash like jungle gym thing was in the way back corner of the yard so that's probably where it's gonna go because there's a big tree there for like shade in the summertime um who knows, maybe we'll end up moving closer to my grandma and then he'll be able to go there all the time. I don't know, she's talking about she wants to move too because she doesn't want to stay in that house now that my grandpa's gone. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to, I want the whole moving thing to be over and settled because then I, can, I feel like I can be calm again <laughs> and like done with friggin' all this issue with... Steven's dad holding the house over our heads and stuff and I don't have to deal with him anymore after this. I'm excited about that. Whether or not he's gonna ever want to come visit to see Aiden, I don't know. I highly doubt it's gonna be anytime. Steven said probably like once a year, which sounds about right. He said that's how his dad was when his parents get divorced. He only saw him like once a year. Um, but that's it for now. I have to go answer my uncle's text message because I don't know what that said other than I'm leaving now. Um, Aiden has ABA tonight if she comes. I know she said she was sick the other day. She probably has what we all had. Um, I'm a lot better. I just still have like sinus issues. I hope it's not going to turn into a sinus infection. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like a three-day cold, three-day, four-day cold, and that's about it. I hope that's what it stays as. I forgot to say before I go, I I did my roots last night, so I probably have staining. I'm trying to, like, cover it. I always get stains there, but I also touched up the... Ew! I didn't even realize I had, like, a breakout over here. I also put more of the wrath in, like, what I had left in my bottle. Um, so it's bright again. Definitely sucked up the color again. I didn't bother doing the purple. I think you can still probably see a little bit of it in there. I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna do all that this color for a while because I really like it. I know it's supposed to be like a red shade, but it always turns hot pink on me. I don't know, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that I redid my hair. <sighs> I was gonna wait and not check in until tomorrow, but. Like, 
eight-ish minutes before my uncle got here, my grandma called me all frantic because she fell or did something. She doesn't think she fell, but she like blacked out and whacked her like cheekbone right here, I guess. And I was ready to like jump in the car and go drive to her. And I'm like, this is pointless because when he gets here, I'm not going to be here. And I'm just going to have to tell him to turn around and go back home anyway. So then he got all pissed off because he couldn't do his friggin' get the swing set today. He blows up. He has like a, he's Polish. It has a temper issue. So he gets pissed over everything that he couldn't do that today. And he had to go home. She's okay because she was like coherent and everything. So I wasn't too worried, but... I told her, I'm like, she was trying to go do a load of laundry, and I'm like, you cannot do that stuff anymore when nobody's home. This is going to be like the same thing that we went through with Steven's grandmother of her wanting to do stuff when nobody's home and getting hurt. <laughs> like, I can't, I just foresee it now, like we're going to have to end up living with her for a while or something. My God. Um, so that shebang just happened and it's like noon time now what time it's 11 18 so not too bad but like i haven't been able to get anything done this morning uh we just got a whole friggin packet of paperwork from the lawyer that steven's dad is having do the will and everything and like it's still not freaking finalized yet because this is another paper that steven has to sign this is uh, now i'm bleeding for no reason i was just like what is wet did i just get blood in my hair uh, I cut myself on something. <sighs> anyway, this whole morning has just been chaotic, so I have to put this aside for him to sign when he gets home because he's gonna... Wait a minute. Where is he supposed to send it to? They didn't give us a friggin' paper or anything. <laughs> yep, it's got a uh, self-addressed, self-stamped envelope good because I don't have any stamps. I go through so many friggin' stamps trying to send documents and stuff to his father in Vermont because they always get mailed here. So I keep having to buy stamps and I hate buying stamps. Alright, I gotta have him sign this as soon as he gets home so I can put it in the mail tomorrow. Oh, this whole thing is annoying. <clears throat> And I've been, I have one thing that I'm waiting on. I need the bank statement. <coughs> I need our, uh, what is it called? The 1099 INT form. That's just the stupid paper that has our bank account interest on it so that I can do our taxes. I did everything else, input it all to TurboTax. I'm just waiting for that one freaking paper. And that's always the last thing that comes and I can't file our taxes until I get that. Um, and then... Hopefully, it will only take a couple weeks to get our tax money back, and then I can get all our bills back on track again. I'm mostly there. There's two of them that have been, like, I've been letting go and <laughs> need to be paid. Um, <coughs> but other than that, seeing as how that job isn't working out, I'm trying to focus more on uh, having, like, little sales here and there, and I want to make... I think I'm gonna do a spring palette that's not like themed on like a TV show or a movie like I always do. I think it's just gonna be like my brand. I want to do kind of like light springy colors, kind of like the the blush crush palette that just came out from ColourPop, but different. So I just want like some colors like that. <laughs> so yeah, this morning has been chaotic. And Steven's probably going to call me on his lunch break in a little while. So I'm going to stop blabbing now. My hair looks really long. Every time I straighten it, I'm like, when it's curly, it's like up here. That's how much it shrinks. <laughs> so I kind of want to cut it a little bit more because I, I don't know, it's just a little bit too long right now. I typically like it like this when it's straight, I like it to be that long. But then when I wear it curly, I feel like it's a freaking super poof ball. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go now and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Figured I would finish the vlog. Well, probably gonna finish the vlog unless anything happens today that I feel like I need to turn it back on and talk about, but um, I just dropped Aiden at school. I'm actually still in the parking lot. And this is probably not good lighting because the sun's glaring in my face. I can't even see the screen. 
Um, so what? I had two things I was going to talk about. First of all, I don't know how uh, familiar you guys are with like shipping things overseas and stuff, but every time I ship an order overseas, it goes to Jamaica, New York, because I guess that's like the hub of where where stuff goes when you're shipping overseas. Um, and a lot of times, a package gets stuck there and then just gets lost. Like, I can't tell you how many times that has happened. Like, somebody will email me and be like, hey, I ordered this a month ago and it hasn't come yet. Can you check on it? And then I check the tracking and sure enough, it's Jamaica, New York and whatever that facility is, I don't know what those people do, but they're always losing packages. Um, I would say maybe, maybe like five or six times a year this happens to me. And it's, it can never be an easy order. It's never like just a couple eyeshadows or something. It's always a big order. Like this person had, it was a $90 order of a whole bunch of eyeshadows and highlighters and stuff. And now I gotta remake it all to send it to her. I was like, I'm just gonna remake it because whenever this happens, they lose it. And it's it's quicker for me to remake it and send it to you again than to uh, uh, try to file a missing package. You know how many times I've filed a missing package thing? They never find it. It's pointless to do that. Just if that ever happens to you guys and either you shipped something overseas and the person didn't get it or you're getting something from overseas and you didn't get it <laughs> it's it's easier to just have the whole order redone because they're never gonna find it um, so yeah now I have to remake all this stuff she's very nice about it she's not being a jerk or anything but like it's so annoying because it's always that Jamaica New York place like either someone really likes makeup and they're stealing it or they're just not paying attention there because like for it to happen so much to me I can only imagine how many times it happens collectively like to other orders getting lost and stuff um, so there's that and then uh, one of my friends from school like I haven't talked to her in ages but we've been friends on Facebook and everything she's just one of those people that's not on there very much um, she had messaged me a couple nights ago because I was posting about looking for jobs and stuff. And I was like, oh, I don't live there anymore. <laughs> she didn't know that I live where I live now, which is like 30 minutes away. Um, and then she was telling me one of our other friends just had a baby, which like blew my mind because this, I can't imagine this girl having a baby. But uh, yeah, she was one of my best friends. They both were one of my best friends and like... We just kind of grew apart, and I don't know. The one that had the baby was, like, very into partying and, like, at the time, <laughs> at the time, anyway, drugs and stuff, and I, that was not me at all. Uh, so we kind of just grew apart, and I don't know. I guess she's better now. I don't <laughs> but anyway, she want that the one that had the baby is not on Facebook at all that like I haven't talked to her in years I think the last time I talked to her was right after my mom died um so I haven't seen her obviously like never run into either of them or anything because I'm not in that town that much anymore uh <clears throat> so she was asking me if I want to go visit her with her because they both haven't seen me in so long so, I don't know, maybe next week or something, I don't know. This is just, a, like, something to stress me out because it's people I haven't seen in a long time. I hate that I'm like this. Like, I, I hate it. I wish I could just go do something and, like, hang out with people and, hey, have a good time. But, no, it's always going to be stress and anxiety and no, uh, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> but, anyway, <laughs> those are my two updates. Um, I, my uncle said he might try to come today to get the swing set. My grandma ended up going to the doctor, like her doctor had an opening, and then the doctor sent her to another place for an x-ray and everything to make sure she didn't break anything, and she, she didn't break anything, she's good. She's just gonna have a black eye, cause she whacked like right here, um, and she's sore obviously. Um, I guess they determined that she tripped over Zelda because Zelda is dark and like the carpets are dark and she doesn't have great vision anymore so she never sees Zelda. She can see Izzy fine because Izzy's like almost white but uh 
yeah, she tripped over Zelda and she like knocked herself good enough that she didn't remember what she did. She didn't completely fall on the floor, she just like fell against the bar, I guess. Like they have a, a little bar in the kitchen against the wall. And she knocked over the bar stools. <laughs> uh, I just... Too much. Sorry I'm sitting like this. The sun is like right here. I need one of those baby shade things that they put in the windows. But anyway, he said he was going to try to come today. But like yesterday he told me he'd probably be there at 9 and he didn't come until almost 11. So I'm not wor I have to go get some stuff from the grocery store. I'm not going to be worried about rushing or anything because I know he's not going to be here till like 11. He's slow as molasses when he says he's going to come be somewhere. So, I'm going to go do that right now. I'm, still, I'm in the parking lot because I hate, I just wait until the buses and all the traffic go and then I leave. <laughs> I hate trying to get out. Um, yeah, see the traffic's still all backed up. But, uh, I don't think there's anything else I needed to talk about, so that's good. I will talk to you guys next week unless something else happens today. Let's, let's cross our fingers that it doesn't. <laughs> but I will see you next time.